Hello, Nintendo Wii here. Welcome back to Let's Play Retro Games. And welcome to my Let's Play of Shadow Warriors for the Game Boy. Also known as Ninja Gaiden Shadow in America, I think. This is a game that I picked up at the London Retro Market, so let's get straight into it. I've played this game quite a bit on the Game Boy Pocket, and I was really, really enjoying it, so I thought I'd definitely um, come here and do a Let's Play of it. So as you can see, if you've played any of the other Ninja Gaiden games, it's pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Um, the only Ninja Gaiden game I've played before is the one on the Master System, which I think is really really great. It's very difficult though. Um, one thing that you will notice about this game is that it's a lot slower, which I guess makes sense because when you're playing it on the Game Boy the screen sort of does that ghosting thing. If you're playing it on the original Game Boy anyway, the Game Boy Pocket doesn't really have that problem so much. But I know that's one of the reasons why they slowed the games down quite a bit. Um, especially some of the earlier games. But uh, the gameplay is sort of made around the um, the controls and the movement, so it's not too bad really. Here's a new thing for this game. Uh, you can... whoops, wrong button. You can grab onto the ledges like that and fling yourself up, which is pretty good. But one thing you can't do in this game, which was something that was a staple in the Ninja Gaiden franchise beforehand, was the ability to do a wall jump. Uh, so if you jump on the wall you can't actually jump off it again, which is a bit disappointing But I guess the ability to grab onto the ceiling kind of makes up for it So you're sort of losing one ability and gaining a different one and a bit like Castlevania if you hold up an attack um, I did it a minute ago by mistake, but you can sort of do a special attack which is um, shown by them symbols at the bottom of the screen and this is the first boss. I'm not sure what it is, like some sort of robot monkey or something. The bosses in this game are quite challenging actually. Um, I've kind of got this one down. You just have to move to the side when he jumps down, else it'll, like, it'll jump straight down on you. Like that. So you just got to sort of move to the side and just keep hitting him. Fairly easy, but some of the later ones get more difficult. I'm sure he's almost dead. Uh, a few more hits. There we go. Level 1 complete. Really simple stage, it does get a lot more complicated. I think there's only four or five levels, so it shouldn't take me too long to play through, although I haven't actually completed it yet. So I'll let you know when I've got to the bit that I've seen. And we get a nice little cutscene after that where he, uh, I think is Ryu Hayabusa, is it? I can't quite remember. If anyone's a fan of the Ninja Gaiden series, I'm sure you can tell me what his name is. Now we're on to stage two. And one thing I really love about this game as well, the soundtrack is amazing and it sounds brilliant on the Game Boy as well, coming through the Game Boy speakers. And if you've got headphones for the Game Boy, it sounds amazing as well because it's in stereo. Oops, I'm not doing too well on this one. So you can see that the enemies have already got a lot more complicated. So there's these guys that fire three bullets at once, and then there's these guys that throw fire, fire at you like that. And there's a little conveyor belt thing. We'll come back to that later on in this stage as well, I think. So you have to drop down here and then duck quickly so he doesn't shoot you. And then go past and hit him. It's the slower pace kind of reminds me of something like Gunman Clive, if you wanted a modern day equivalent. Which is an amazing game. I actually found out recently that someone had been demaking Gunman Clive to play on the original Game Boy, which just sounds incredible. And I've really got to try and look it up because I was really shocked when I heard about it. So I'll show you what the special power does. So if you stand here, hold up, and then press B, you can sort of do that shockwave thing and just kill all the enemies in one go. Which is pretty useful. Sometimes, because it's a Game Boy, the graphics aren't incredibly clear. Like, I didn't realise at first that you can grab onto the ceiling here. And that is really useful for a boss fight that's coming up in a bit. And one bit that I need to remember to do here. Don't go straight under there. Stay here until he's thrown the fire and then go under. Um, oh, I got hit anyway. But yeah, if you just stay on the conveyor belt then you're guaranteed to get hit by the fire as you're going under it and there's nothing you can do about it really. I've got to go like that. Uh, if we go back to the left, I think there's a 1-up at the end of these platforms. If I can make it across, okay. Not sure what them things are, maybe they're like little helicopters or something. There was something. I think it's a 1-up, I'm not really sure. I'm still trying to get used to what all the different power-ups are and what they do. I love the controls, they're very precise. Like, it doesn't feel like there's any sort of lag or anything, which is really great for the Game Boy, because I know a few games seem a bit slow, like, 
like Castlevania Adventure, I suppose, is the one I'm comparing it to. This feels a million times better than that. It's one of the more expensive Game Boy games, but it's definitely worth it from what I've played. I would love to get Castlevania 2 while we're on the topic of Game Boy games. I think that's roughly the same price as this, they're not crazy expensive. And there's Castlevania 3 as well, Castlevania Legend. But that one doesn't look too good, it's more of a sort of adventure game. Which works well for Castlevania if it's done right, but from what I've seen of the Game Boy 1 it doesn't look that great. This bit's a bit annoying, because when you stop you sort of start rolling backwards. So you have to be... you have to keep jumping like this if you want to get anywhere fast. Else you can see there that you just get pulled back. Okay, hopefully that's better. I'm not sure what just happened there, but the video stopped recording for some reason. So I'll try and pick up from where I left off. I think I was complaining about these conveyor belts. And with good reason, because they are very annoying. I said in the last bit that you won't have seen that I don't like this bit because I'm usually trying to speedrun games. Um, although speedrunning isn't something that I've really taken too seriously. Apart from trying to speedrun Super Mario Land, um, I did get kind of serious about it quite a few years ago and I got my best time down to something like 13 minutes which was only a few minutes off the world record at the time um, but I did try again more recently and I was terrible I finished it in about 18 minutes which is really bad so I've got to try and practice a bit more if I want to take speedrunning a bit more seriously I'm really looking forward to GDQ when it comes back on again in the summer I was planning to do a video about GDQ, Games Done Quick, um, at the end of the last one this winter, but never really got around to it, unfortunately. So maybe I'll do one this time. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And here we are at the next boss. I have already killed this one actually, but um, as it didn't record properly I'm having to go back and do it again. The weird thing about this boss, if you can see that little guy there, he basically grabs onto you, kind of like the... Um, Kind of like the tiny Goombas in Mario 3. Um, hopefully I won't show you that, show you it this time. Uh, when I fought him last time he did grab onto me, so we'll see. But It's quite a simple boss, just keep jumping over him and hit him in the back. I've got a few of these special weapons that I can try and use. Ah. Oh no, not doing too good. There we go, he's grabbed me, so it really stops you from being able to jump properly. Which is the main reason to not to try and not make him touch you. I'm doing a lot worse this time than I did last time. You'll just have to take my word for it though. Ah, yes I did it with two bits of life left. I do really like the boss fights in this game, they're probably one of my favourite things about it. So there we go, that was level 2 complete. Now let's go on to level 3. And obviously we're going to chop them all in half. There we go, stage two clear. I think this is as far as I've got. And once again, amazing music. I just love this. Oh no, actually I have finished the boss on this world because this was the one that I was complaining about that I didn't see the things to grab onto on the ceiling. This one kind of reminds me of like Bowser's Castle because of the fire that's spinning around that you've got to try and avoid. Um, there's also bombs that come down, like you just saw there. And this bit's kind of awkward because you have to sort of jump up and try and get past, like that. Oh, maybe there's a safe spot. And there was a bit of health there as well, so it's not too bad. But the main thing to watch out for in this level is the flames, as you can see. Kind of reminds me of an airship as well from Mario 3, something like that and these bombs. Some of them drop down, some of them drop up. I'm not sure if you can tell which way they're going to go. Some of them just seem to defy gravity for some unknown reason. It's a bit strange. This bit's a bit annoying as well, the second part of this, where there's loads of these bridges that come down. Because if you time it wrong, he doesn't actually jump very high. I, for some reason, feel like he should jump higher than he does. Which really puts me off trying to get on these platforms. So I'll wait for the next one to come. And then you have to... No, I'll wait for the one after this. Oh, my phone just went off. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Oh, yes. I don't like this bit. There we go. First time. Got Let's Play Luck. And then get onto this crane. And head up to the top of the building site. And I'll put my phone in my pocket so it doesn't go off. 
If any of you guys have played this game before, let me know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on it. Because this is the first time I've really played it properly, and I really love it. It's, uh, it's definitely... I wouldn't really call it a hidden gem because Ninja Gaiden's a very popular series, but I'd definitely say it's a game worth checking out if you want to get a new Game Boy action platformer. They're kind of uncommon on the Game Boy. There's not that many that actually play well, and a lot of them are just licensed games like the... Uh, what's it called? Like the James Bond games, stuff like that. So it's nice to see one that's actually like a proper video game. And like I said before, the music is just amazing too. It is a bit slow. Um, maybe I should try and get the NES game next, because as I said, I've only played it on, Ma on the Master System. And I know that one's kind of different, because it was made by Sega. Rather than Tecmo, I think? I'm not sure. I think it's Tecmo who made the NES one. Oh no! I got caught out with this bit before. If you turn back there, they put one of these item blocks, and if you turn back, you're just dead. There's no chance of coming back from it, which is really horrible. And this is the boss that I was on about. I struggled for ages trying to kill him, because I didn't realise that... Oh no, I'm going to die. I didn't realise that you can grab onto the ceiling. Yeah, that's it, I'm dead. Grab onto the ceiling like that, and then he gets confused, and then you can jump down the other side and kill him but I'm not doing very well. And I'm not going to make it, I don't think. I'll try my best. I got the buttons mixed up. So you have to hold up and A to use your grapple hook thing, like that. Oh, actually I'm not doing too bad. Oh no! Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, I'm dead. I knew it. At least I know what to do now. I was literally stuck on that boss for about half an hour before, just because I didn't understand what to do. Oh yeah, sometimes you can shoot up as well. So you have to be a bit careful. I've got two lives left. Uh, oh, that was close. Oh, we've got a good few hits in there as well. I love the graphics. This bit kind of reminds me of something like Gunstar Heroes. Like having the map on the wall and things too. Damn. No, I haven't done it. He takes quite a few hits, annoyingly. Ah, leave me alone! Ah, close. Alright, one more try. Here we go. Gotta be careful this time. I'm sure there's just a pattern if you wait for him to fire and then go up. Let's try that. So turn around, wait for him to fire, and then go up and jump down behind him. Yeah, that seems to be working. Oh no, we got too close then. Ah! I was getting too risky. Damn. This isn't working out too well. He's confused now. Get out! Uh, I hate this! Oh, no, damn it! Oh, do I get one more go? Okay, I'll get one more go. If I don't do it this time, I'll stop recording and get back to this point and try again. Uh, horrible boss. Oh, that was close. I'm sure you guys are loving my, uh, my frustration on this level. I hate it. Come on. Maybe it's safer just to stay up there. Ah, go away! Imagine playing this on the Game Boy if you think it's bad on the on this um, retro freak. It's horrible playing it on such a small screen. Oh no! Uh, Alright, I'll pause it here and get back to where I was, and then we can try again. Hey, finally! Oh my god, that was hard. 
It just takes forever. I have no, one, no idea how many hits that took, but wow. What a horrible boss. I might do a little compilation of all my deaths there, because I did die quite a few times. Thank god that's over. Stage 3 clear! Woo! Okay, moving on to stage 4. I've never got this far before, so this is all new to me. Uh, I've got one life left. Hopefully I can get through this. Oh, this isn't very nice. Oh, why can't I throw things? It's not fair. Okay, I shouldn't try and speedrun. Oh god, even the drops of water are after me. Okay, I take back what I said about the game being easy. It's definitely tried to pick the difficulty up a bit now. Good job I had that. I've only got one left. As I said, the controls are really good, which kind of makes it a little bit better. It's probably best to wait for him to come back down and then kill him. They have a repeating pattern, so it's not too hard. And these guys, you just have to look away and then quickly turn around. Oh, you've got to watch out for the water drops out as well. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, I think I can grab onto this ceiling as well, yeah. Not sure if there's any reason to. Oh no, it's gone dark. Where? Well, what's that? How am I supposed to avoid that? Ah. You have to go on the platforms underneath. That's pretty interesting. Makes a bit of a change. Sort of Mega Man 2 style, where the screen goes dark in... Uh, Heat Man stage, is it? I think. I should know, as uh, a huge Mega Man fan. I love the Game Boy Mega Man games as well, they're some of my favourites. Oh no, why have the walls closed on me? What's going on? Okay, down I go. I hope no one's waiting for me at the bottom. Oh. That's nice of him. Although that means something bad's coming up. Okay. Let's see what's waiting for me over here. Okay, what do we have? More corridors. I think this is lulling me into a false sense of security. Ah! Is that fire? Hard to tell in black and white, but I think so. Ah! And things that electrocute me. Oh, this isn't very nice. And they shoot fire as well. Oh, at least it doesn't hurt you, it just stops you. Although, I've got to be fast. Ah! No, 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 no! Oh! That was my own fault for not using the grappling hook properly. Alright, let's try this again. Last life as well. And then I'll have to start the stage from the beginning. Obviously, I'll skip forward. I'm not even going to try and wait for that. Oh yeah, I'm doing much better this time. Jump over there. Wow. A lot better. I don't think there's any way of avoiding that one. Wait for that to go past. Yeah, easy. Ish. Oh god, this is quite scary. No. Can I get past it? Kind of. Whatever. I just want to get out of here. Oh, thank God that was an exit. I thought I'd gone the wrong way for a second. And uh, now it's time for the next boss. Some guy with big trousers. He looks like someone from uh, a Big Trouble in Little China. One of them weird guys that come down out of the sky. Where's he gone? I think I got hit in. That was my only special though, so I've used it up now. Come on, come and fight me. Stop showing off just because you can fly and I can't. Ow. Okay, if that's his attack, that's fairly easy to avoid. I'm not doing too well there. Come on. Ow. Alright, I'll skip back to this point. Game over. Yeah, I won't make you watch all this again.
Hey, pretty good. I made that really well and I also picked up two one-ups and I've got a full set of special attacks. So, should be no problem this time. So, I just learned that you can't duck underneath him when he's doing that. Or you kind of can, but only on the way, on the top one, and then you have to jump over it on the way back. Which kind of makes sense. So, duck, and then jump. Yeah! I've got it. I've got this down. Now the hard bit is avoiding these stars that he throws. Although they seem to leave you with quite a gap, so maybe it's not too bad. Jump! Oh, too early. Pretty good though. I can do this. And jump! Yeah, I've got this. Unless he changes his attack pattern. Oh no. Okay, I'm down to my last life. Or last bit of health, more like. No! Oh, that's how I died last time. Damn it. Hey! Not too bad. I don't think he's as hard as the last boss at the end of World 3. So there we go, that's level 4 complete. I think there's one more, maybe two more, we'll see. Fingers crossed I can actually finish this. I don't know if it's got unlimited continues or if there's a sort of set amount of continues. Hopefully not. So there's stage 4 clear. Now we're on to stage 5. And we're greeted by some flame throwing crazy people. Looks like they've upgraded a bit since level 2. And for some reason the uh, the things on the bridge in the background look kind of like syringes, these things here. Come on. I kind of skipped the story at the start so I don't really know what's going on or why, why I'm fighting these people. Uh, maybe I'll go back and watch it after. But for these kind of games I just play them for the game, the gameplay, not really the story. Sorry for anyone who wanted the in-depth story of the Shadow Warriors. You are a warrior and you fight in the shadows. There you go. Oh, that was close. I thought I was going to go down that pit then. Hey, maybe I found a new speedrunning technique there. And somehow we're back inside. One thing that doesn't make a lot of sense in this game is the transitions between the different sections of the level. They seem to just be random. There's a random laser beam. Ah, it's coming from that thing in the floor. Oh, and there's another one came on my head. Oh no. I didn't realise I couldn't jump up there. That's not good. Uh, this isn't good either. Die. I'm a bit worried now. I've only got one life left. We can do it. Give me health. Yay. Thank you. Ah! Oh, close. That's good that you can stand up there. I quite like this hanging from the ceiling mechanic. It works quite well. Oh, no. Or maybe not. I spoke too soon. Okay, let's get back to where I was. Okay, I think this is where I was. I don't like that there's two of these laser things. I don't think you can actually hang in the air either. Not like Bionic Commando. Oh, that was good. No, duck. Oh no, too soon. Oh, ah. Uh, don't like this. Get out of here. Uh, is there anything on the side? Oh, no, the lift came to meet me. Okay, this is a cutscene. I don't actually have control on this section. Oh, now I do. See if I can get that and get back on. Bit risky. Damn it! I want I want an extra life. Oh no! 
perfectly timed laser beams. Some some you need to jump over, some you just need to duck under. Oh, that was close. Uh, if I had the camera on then, I was pulling a bit of a strange face. Oh, come on, give me life. Ah! Oh, that's horrible. How are you supposed to avoid that one? Oh, that's it. Game over. Right, I'm going to... Stop recording here, I'll come back to it in a minute, I'm just going to go and get a drink. Alright, we're back. Well, I'm back. You guys didn't go anywhere. I've just went to make myself a cup of tea. And we're going to carry on with World 5. Uh, actually, I think I've already done this bit, so I'll probably fast forward back to where I was before. Save you guys watching me suffer twice. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I remember why I left now this horrible bit on the left and I've only got one bit of life left I'll see if I manage to make it Oh my god, this is really horrible. And the bleeping low health noise doesn't help either. Oh my god. How are you supposed to avoid that? That's exactly where I died last time. I really don't understand. Well, at least I've got more health now, so I can probably just take the hit. But surely there must be a way of doing it without getting hit there. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, I did it! I didn't even need the extra health. Fair enough. I won't question it. There must just be a really small gap that you can take. Oh, okay, I've missed my chance there. But yay, we made it to the top of the lift, finally. That's good. Let's see what was waiting for me at the top. No doubt a horrible boss fight. Oh my god, don't say I have to do this every time I want to fight the boss. This is very Castlevania feeling, again. I'm going to use up all my special attacks. Please don't electrocute me. Ah! Okay, I've got a few hits in. I think that's just all this fight's going to be, just trying to dodge, ele dodge lightning strikes. And then get out of the way. I'm down to one bit of health again. I think that's the one that usually catches me out. Don't go back on yourself too soon. Oh my god, that's close. Ah! Wow, how did I still manage to survive that? Okay, now you get out of the way. Ah, this is too close. Oh my god, I'm actually scared. Come on, die! 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 Oh my god! This is tense. Get out of the way! Ah! Oh my god, my hands are sweaty. Ah, ah, ah. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? I'm scared. What? <laughs> oh man. Okay, this might be the final boss. We'll see. Oh no, from the bottom of the lift again. Ugh. That's horrible. I'll try and get these power-ups. Yep. Ah, oh. oh, this is horrible. Oh, I didn't jump. No! Oh, damn it. Oh, 
This is really horrible. Sorry if I'm not talking much. I'm really trying to concentrate here. Yes, I did it! Woo! Yeah, that's it. He's dead. Is that the last level? Possibly. My god, my heart's beating a million miles an hour. That was intense. I think it might be. This is possibly the ending cutscene. Now I can enjoy my tea and give my thumbs a rest. I've cut it down so you guys will only see the main boss fight, but you have no idea how many tries that actually took. That was crazy. Yay! There he is. And I walk off into the distance really dramatically. It looks really nice for the original Game Boy. I love how they made such like dramatic images from the basic pixels. And apparently I was in a castle, which is now crumbling into the ground, of course. So, thanks for watching guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment if you did. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video with your friends, check me out on Patreon, blah 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 blah, and I'll see you next week. Thanks again for watching, and I'll leave the staff role to play.